Oi boys, welcome, welcome to another video on the channel. We are back with the Canberra Raiders. And today we'll be doing a little bit of sub-17. This lineup was put together by my boy Dan Halaya. It is kind of experimental. Um, the experimental part being Matt Timoko playing in the back row. So he's getting that Moses Sully treatment. If you don't know, we absolutely carved up for us in our Dragons rebuild or our Dragons career mode. Similar sort of playstyle, you know, super physical. Here's hoping that translates here with the Raiders. He's also named the young left centre wing pairing with Ethan Strange and Chevy Stewart. Regardless of how Timoko does in this game, what I will do is most likely stick with Chevy Stewart moving forward. I have been inspired by recent posts and chatter of the pair with, uh, especially that photo of Chevy holding the one and Savage holding the five. Uh, so we knock it on there, ignore that. It makes me want to kind of go all in with the young guns we have here with the Raiders. We did get rid of like a Schiller and all that. And looking at this little preseason challenge, the lineup, both have been named in their respective positions. It does have me a little excited, not gonna lie. Uh, yeah, and it just pretty much makes me want to use these, these young blokes. We still have Trey Mooney as well available, but we'll see how we go the following year because uh, a few of these boys, these older boys, will be unavailable. Our contracts will be up as we try to defend. We saw the vision, but couldn't make the tackle. Should have decent kick rating. This one stays out. Still no line break. I don't really like him on the wing, to be honest. I'm not going to lie to you. Will definitely be in the one as we get weeks through a bit of space. Gula, the pass to Horsebro, who does get smashed without a pill. We do retain possession here. Straight through. Emre finds Dylan Brown. No fend for the boys. Draw a pass, touched by the Knights. We'll take that though. We'll take a reset. Brown, wide to Fogarty. He takes the space and takes off into the corner for our first points. That's in. That is in. We're getting used to it. Camp down here. Another hits. Keeps us in the 10. Looking for space out wide. Seb Chris. To the 20. This is the third tackle too. As Jamal Fogarty will get pulled up around the 20. Not looking too good. Timoko. Yeah, that was average. Super average, 21 meters gained. Straight through, we, oh, we got the wind and everything. This kick is a dub. We get out of trouble on the last. Risking it, taking the space. Now we look to make something happen here. Five out. Seb Chris shows the pass and goes himself. When it's closer to the sideline, I'm using the yellow line to guide. We'll try and score again that wide. Right, so I can show you what I mean. Super, super low score. And it gets like that sometimes. 12 points on the board. Four for the Knights. Actual, typical Raiders grinder here as we find space. Interception. Murray Taulangi with no one around him. We'll score a little consolation here. As the siren sounds, as that fat lady starts humming, Murray Taulangi goes on a little trip to the bakery for a meat pie. Round six, we are on the road. Taking on the Broncos here, and I did pull the trigger on the move with Chevy Stewart moving a fullback. We've got uh, Matt Tomoko back in the centers. 
and for the most part this is what i want the squad to look like for the remainder of the season of course we'll be doing some experimental sub 17s if we get suggestions but i like what i got right now as for how we're doing i mean we've been on a pretty crazy run to start this new save this new season five w's in a row i'll be sure to show that we are sitting at number one currently and are the only team to remain undefeated someone did mention like maybe it's time to turn the difficulty up <laughs> it's got to be new to the channel because we only play on one difficulty as we get the pick with the puppy that was all that was all the computer we give it right back our partner though will drag Reynolds over to clarify legend is the only difficulty we play on nice short ball tapping it we've seen that plenty resource with the early super early dive so close of Joe Tarpane try the typical greedy guts showing go from hooker doesn't work that much on against the AI but against real people it's super cheese quick hands here find Seb Chris on the end of it and we'll squat for Just carrying him sideways. Because he stopped on the halfway line. Brown. Straight to Chris. Getting run down every time he gets through. Back to Chris. How many touches does he want? Hudson Young with the little fend. So we can take it on the 20. Corey Horse, bro. Round to Stewart. Whitehead to Fogarty. And Matt Timoko will be scoring our second try of the match. I said it last game and I'll show you guys what I mean. I'm just trying to line it up with the, the yellow line. As we landed in the yellow on the gauge for decent distance. And there it is. Actually really excited to see how my team does in real life. Uh, the Broncos, of course, that's what I'm talking about without Flegler and Farnworth, who both played like pretty major roles in the team's success last year. I think they've got like Mariner and Wilson, I'm assuming, is going to get a lot of game time, or Fletcher Baker, I guess, taking over that role of Thomas Flegler. They won't be as aggressive, I know that for sure. Flegs is just on another level when it comes to aggression and the way he plays the game as they go out wide here to Mariner. Speak of the devil, in a one on one effort, we'll get the pill down right there. Wide left for Renault. Sharpshooter in real life and in game. Confirmed. With the fantasy team, my fantasy team, nothing solidified and we still got plenty of time. Uh, but I st I'll probably do like a video pretty soon on my side as <laughs> how scrum goes. Not how I wanted to. Wide ball. And through the hands, we create the overlap, but we can't find that. That final pass, that final blow. Here, weeks taken. As we try a little switch, the offload, the, the ankle tap saves the day. That would have been a nice little try here. As we get a quick pass out to Gula, who dives super early into space. I actually have one or two Raiders on my side. Uh, my fantasy team, this guy being one of them. Oh, it goes wrong. That's usually a line break with these boys. That's a nice little shift, but it ends with Reese Walsh on our 10. A lot of tackles to go. Oh, Bronson Zeri. On his own, beats two with one step. That's a cheeky little sidestep. Where do you have a new killer? Yellow. Reno gets it in within six. With a little bit of time left on the clock. Full time, full time. We make it six wins in a row here with the Canberra Raiders getting a win over the Broncos at Suncorp. And we are going to call it there, boys. As always, if you enjoyed that, 
be sure to run and share the like button for more rugby league related content or more content in general. Go ahead and drop the boy a cheeky sub. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you, 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 you. later.